For many Americans, an assisted living facilities the past year has been especially challenging. It meant isolation from their families and loved ones, but now with vaccines, that's all changing. Three's on the street tonight. Victor Georges joins us live in Youngsville with the story tonight. Victor. 344 long days. That's how long residents here at Avanti Senior Living had had to wait in order to hug their loved ones. During that time, they were just told to sit and wait. It's like, like you feel like you've got them back. Mary Neely says she can't wait to see her family after such a long time. COVID vaccines are making that happen. And little by little, what seemed like a rainy day that lasted forever is coming to an end. He got a second one today. Yep, he's all good. He's all good. Mac Mouton's daughter says she hasn't been able to hug her dad since he started living at this facility in September. We've been praying for it. We've been hoping for it. We're so grateful that times have changed. As for Mary Neely, her family waited to have their Christmas to make sure she was a part of it. Months later, she was able to join them. I feel like I died and went to heaven. It was so awesome being with them Sunday. We finally was able to have our Christmas. She's now able to leave this building and she's ready for it all. You know, life is what you make it. You can sit in that room and feel sorry for yourself or you can get out and, and enjoy life, you know. So I choose to enjoy life. And the staff here at Avanti tells me they're just happy to see the residents go back out, go shopping, and do things they love with their family, like just hanging out. Three's on the street. I'm live in Youngsville, Victor Georges, KTC TV3.